To add life or animation to a note, quite often you want to vary some of the parameters of your synthesizer over time, such as the pulse width, or maybe the filter cutoff. Now you can just twist the knobs, but it'd be nice if there was a module that could help you do this. And there is one. It's called a Low Frequency Oscillator, or LFO for short. An LFO generates a series of repetitive voltages that you can then route to parameters, such as the pulse width, or to the filter cutoff. You can change your speed from something very slow and gradual to something that gets into the audio range that creates its own additional harmonics. When unplug the Mother 32's LFO and study this external one from the Roland for a moment, there are several different types of classic LFO shapes. The most common is indeed the triangle wave. It's easy to create with both analog and digital circuitry. I have it routed through an attenuator to be able to vary how strong it's modulating another parameter in my synthesizer. That's a common trick you'll want to patch. I'll dial it up a little bit here. It's routed to the filter cutoff. And the blue display is the speed of this particular oscillator. Again, fast or slow. close relative of the triangle, but less common in LFOs, is the sine wave. It creates a much more gradual turnaround at the top and bottom. You can kind of hear the filter pause at the top and bottom of the cutoff, as compared to the very sudden turnaround of the triangle wave. Another common LFO shape, again because it's easy to create, is the square wave, where it just goes to high or low values and stays there. Speed that up, slow it down. In addition to square wave, you may find different forms of ramps or sawtooth waves. That's a descending ramp, and this is an ascending ramp. Some LFOs also have advanced features to help synchronize them to your playing. I'm going to go back to a triangle wave for now and turn on what the Roland calls external keyboard trigger. Other LFOs call this sync. This says, whenever I play a note, in this case patch to the second envelope generator, restart the LFO. So you see no matter where it is in its pattern, it's being interrupted and restarted. That way, the articulation of each note is the same, as opposed to when I have that off, I could be anywhere in the LFO's pattern when I play a new note. Here's synchronized. In addition to synchronization, some LFOs also have a delay function, where they automatically fade up after you've started playing a new note. I'm going to turn on the delay trigger here. I have a moderate delay amount set initially here. Now play a note. Then you hear the LFO fade up over time. If I have the delay turned all the way down, I won't hear that effect. But I can be quite slow about this and have it come in after I've played a note. way I can play a series of fast notes, not hear the LFO, then hold a note, and it will come in later. And that's just a few features to look out for in LFOs.